Hello, everybody, and welcome to True Crime Banter, the podcast aimed at bringing you your dose of murder relaxation. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. we can always uh, put a poll up or something and see what yeah. people are asking for. Yeah, I'm going to vote the new one, but maybe that's yeah. just me. Okay. Hello, everybody, and Hi. welcome to another episode of the True Crime Banter Podcast. Uh, this is a microdose episode, mm-hmm. so welcome. So don't get too excited. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're here, here for a short shit. time and a good time. Well, <laughs> at least a short time. <laughs> <laughs> um Hi, how you doing? It is Friday. We're recording on Friday, and this is being uploaded on Friday. Yep. You've been up for a long time. Late Friday, yes, I have. I've been up since 2 a.m., and it is currently all is well. (laughs) 8.30. Love that for me. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, hello, hello everybody. uh, We've been getting some good feedback on the last case we did, Missy Beavers. Um, Mm, I think you did a really great job covering that. Oh, thank you. Once again, thank you for for, uh, for sharing that. I think it helped that you also knew quite a bit about oh, yeah. it so it's easy to do a back and forth instead of usually maybe you don't know a case i'm choosing so you have a lot of questions which True. of course i don't mind answering because people listening probably have the same questions and i had the same ones before i researched it too but it's kind of nice when we can kind of bounce back and like almost kind of cut through back and forth. yeah almost almost <laughs> just like it <laughs> Almost. it's kind of nice to just kind of skip past the like explaining it and just get to the like Especially in that case where it's such a debate and uh, theories and and it's crazy. I will say um, I was slacking for a little bit there. I forgot to upload the video version of Mm -hmm. that. And it's not an actual video version, which today is also this microdose, not an episode. It's a video audio version. Exactly. But in the video audio version, I decided to include clips of the uh, surveillance and even the oh, okay. um, car surveillance. So okay. for those of you who are interested in that and didn't or haven't listened to that yet, go yeah. ahead. Go and back. it's unsolved. So feel free to rotate that around. Let's try and get this yeah. guy or girl. Flip it and Questionable, reverse it. but probably a guy. Let's get <laughs> fucking nail his ass to True, wall. true. Let's nail his chunky butt to the wall. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> his gimpy little ass. Anyway, um, today. <laughs> no, no. She, you guys can't see this, but she's about to spit out her politically correct. Drunk. Are we allowed to say that? Gimpy? Is Gimpy? A, I think it is. I think. What it's, group of people are considered Gimpies? I think Gimps? it's kind of up there with like the like M word instead of like little person. I think it's mm. up there. We can always edit this out. Right. No, no, we're gonna go ahead. You guys tell me, is Gimpy? No, no. This is not a poll. You know, thing. don't tell me no. then. Okay, all no. right. <laughs> anyway, well, you know, it is a poll. Hmm. Uh, the Statue of Liberty. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that firemen slide down, something like that. Uh, it's today, like, let's yes. talk about. Uh, you have any banter for us? You had um, some banter last time that we didn't share. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I still haven't finished it, but um, oh, f- fuck. Okay, let me look it up real quick. Hold on, I'm so sorry, guys. It's been like maybe a week and a half since I. And Watch this. It's been one week since you've looked at me. Okay. Is that the same song? I don't remember. Anyways, well. Oh, here it is. Oh. It's called Leave No Trace. Okay. And it is on Hulu. At least that's where I watched it. It might be other places too. But it is. I didn't know this, but I'm pretty sure it's 2020. But the Boy Scouts filed for bankruptcy. Did you know oh, this? Okay. The Boy Scouts of America. Of America? Okay. Filed for bankruptcy, um, there's so many claims of sexual abuse that mm. have come out that it is like so overwhelming and they are trying to pay out so many people. And it started off with like a few dozen and it's turned into like 6,000 
You'll have to fact check me on that. I think it's like 5,800 or something. Okay. There might be even more. And 6, this is a documentary? And growing. That... It might have been 60,000. I'm so sorry, you guys. But it's... I this was like a week and a half ago I watched this. Yeah, and I was painting that table or oh, whatever. Okay. You just and said I, leave no trace. That's, yes, that's, that's what it's the called. name of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's basically about like not to kind of like say too much, but there's so many parallels between the Catholic Church and Boy Scouts of America, which I did not know. Hmm. But we also know that like John Wayne Gacy was in the Boy Scouts of America. So it makes sense that predators this is the perfect hunting ground for them. Yeah. You send your children away to camps and with to no spend time in and tents and with people learning. that have no yeah. background checks on them at all, especially in the 50s, 60s, and 70s and Very 80s true. when there's no internet. And they just, anyway, you basically find out, just like the Catholic Church, that you basically just rotate these predators. Yeah. There's and no, no one's going to jail, no one's going to court. Just move them around. And finally, there is just like many other podcasts, especially Crime Junkie, the season of justice, where there's so many like DNA tests coming out. Oh, okay. People getting caught, you know, example, of course, like uh, Golden State Killer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And how many others, right? Like countless. Like I feel like every day I log on the internet and someone's getting charged with a crime or a cold case was solved from 1975 or whatever you know which is amazing so yeah if you guys are looking for something that is not so like murdery you know and of course it's not like an easy listen but they do such a good job of documenting people's cases and i feel like and this might just be my own opinion where sexual assault or abuse is focused so much on women not because they're trying to, but because it just so happens that it's more recorded or more documented. Yeah, more I'm prevalent. not prevalent. It is more prevalent. I don't know by how much because men tend not to speak out. So it might even be the same amount. We just don't know. Right. Yeah. But or it's it's yeah. also the optics of, of and how now it's are more. I don't want to say acceptable. That's like the wrong wording. But it is more like uh, there are more platforms, and I think people are more maybe more comfortable coming mm-hmm. forward now because they're anyway one person spoke out it led to a whole chain of events and people finally are getting i guess the justice Their they vengeance. deserve okay. but it, it really isn't it's a never-ending thing yeah and that's not, leave no trace yeah okay yeah interesting yeah. all right well so that's kind of yeah if you're looking for something that's not so like stabby you know <laughs> but it's like <laughs> murdery, but still but also very, very interesting and involved in crime and yeah wow yeah all right, well... Um, I don't want to say I enjoyed it, because that's fucked up, but they did a really good job. Covering it? Yep. Well, good. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I guess you're right. I haven't actually heard much. I mean, there's always been... I had been... no idea the Boy Scouts were involved in any kind of anything. But then you find out, just like aliens and UFOs, sorry not to take away, but what to group this in, here, ladies and gentlemen? it's dropped during COVID. Oh, it is of the course. perfect Lots cover. Lots of times The just, perfect yeah. cover. Yeah, because if that was... No wonder I didn't wow. hear about it. I can't be the only one. Let me know. I can't right. be the only no, one right. who was like, wait, Boy Scouts filed for bankruptcy and went to and court why? for years over this. Yeah. You know, this is, I'm starting to, I vaguely remember a headline of it, but it didn't even, like you said, perfect timing to like, yeah, just throw it out. And there you know because... what? So much kudos to the people that came forward in this documentary it has to be so hard, especially as a man and years and years and years later. And it's when you really watch it, there is like a yeah, bonding a lot of, that goes a lot on of pride between in yeah. being a Boy Scout. Yeah. No. And they cover Why, that at the very know. beginning, the history of Boy Scouts and Reagan involved in it. And it started as something during the war where they were teaching bo- young boys to be men because mm-hmm. they thought that s- society was getting too soft. And so well, you're not only getting this like male Me Too movement which I feel like is really healthy for people to hear and be exposed mm-hmm. to, but also a history lesson as well. Interesting. So yeah, super okay. intriguing brain food for sure. There you go. Leave yeah. no trace. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, after that bit of banter, I've got some shout outs and I think you've got maybe one shout out, maybe I have a like half a one and out. a half. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I also only have like one shout out. Okay. And this is actually a comment from... A YouTube video. Ooh. This was uh, episode 18, Tim McNamara. Okay. Which is a local one here in Washington. Really quick. Sorry, really quick. My yes. sister is like obsessed with this one out of all the ones First we've off, done. First shout out Joey Toast. Joey Toast. Actually, she really wants to the be real on, on this show. And she lives like 10 minutes away. So we might have her on here. Honestly, though, we're going to have to discuss No, that. shut gonna, up. Mm, um, Riley uh, secretly Joey, loves sorry. her. It's okay. It's well, so she's, fine. She's all right. 
She's okay. She's okay. But she's honestly the best. But okay, anyway. She's, right. she's going to be on the show at some point. And but she's yeah. obsessed with Tim Nemeth. The... This episode seems to really get her. She's like, I think about this case quite a bit. All right. Well, weird. if you guys don't remember what it is, go ahead and go back. It's Listen, it's episode weird. 18. And there's a lot of twists and turns. Yeah. And this gal, Jasmine Stoneberger. Okay. Barger? Stonebarger or Barger. Mm-hmm. She commented, she goes, this guy was like an uncle to me. He was definitely murdered. All evidence points to it. He was an amazing guy and even threw a 16th birthday pool party for me out at his farm. He was the most loving and caring person. I hope his family gets justice. I even watched his daughter Jennifer's kids when they were little. Okay. And the first thing I thought was, because the first thing she said was this guy was like an uncle to me. Yes. And I hope he was not like the uncle to you, that he was yes. the uncle and to no, the other gal. No shade, right? Because it's like, I appreciate this person reaching out and feeling comfortable enough, especially For after sure. f- a, her quote unquote like, like, like an, an uncle. uncle. Yeah, yeah. Close Tim relation. was kind of exposed, I guess, in a sense, right? Like, I don't yeah. want to give too much away if you haven't seen it, but there's a little bit of like gray line of family boundaries being crossed and a and little this, incestual yeah, little bit, this you know? comment is very... Um, I feel like uh, it's innocent. Innocent. The comments. And it, because why would you say it if it wasn't? Yeah, it's yeah. indicative of what everybody said about yeah. him for the most part, that he really yeah. wasn't the uncle of the town, like, took yeah. care of pretty and much everybody And not around. to, like, defend a potential predator, but, like, you can still be somebody involved in something and still treat people decent on the mm. side. So if this yeah, woman had a good experience with him, then that's awesome. I'm glad he was good to you. Yeah. So that's cool. I'm glad so, that she reached out. Yeah. Thank you, Jasmine, for yeah, commenting. Yeah, that's super cool. It's always, this is, like, our third or fourth person to reach out who's like directly involved yeah. with one of these cases. Yeah, one which was is kind of cool and weird. Nathaniel Barjona. Yes. One was Joel Guy? No. Um oh shoot. No, I don't think it one was. of them was mine. It was well, the yes, for sure. um Franz Bakery one. Oh crap. Uh, Mandy Stavick. Yes, thank you, yes. Mandy Stavick. She worked with directly. the actual murderer. Yeah. How crazy. When he was caught. Yeah. Or whatever. How crazy. Yeah. Anyway, um Yeah. You got a shout out, half a shout out. Yes. So one of them I actually posted today, a little maybe known, not so known fact, Riley and I are obsessed with the show Frasier. Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you know what? That could be kind of a little bit of banter is that if you don't know about, there's podcasts out there oh my god that cover just frazier that we let's found out about <laughs> because because we really this is a microdose you know we don't we're going we go off script for this entire episode, yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't really Yolo. have scripts there's but so little editing there if you can't tell yes. <laughs> we we kind of went on a mini vacation like a yeah kind uh, of. we went on a, it was a my brother's 21st for, so we yeah. took like a day trip across the water to get to the birthday destination yes and we had a lot of time to listen to stuff yeah and so we were you know scrolling through spotify riley we, was we wrote a fairy riley found and it. <laughs> i i don't know why i typed it in because we've discussed that i've been listening to um podcasts of like boy meets world where the x cast discusses it right and i just thought because you and I, we've been Our on a Fraser kick lately. podcasts and shows overlap. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been on a Fraser kick lately at home. Yeah, but... One of our favorite shows. Really quick. When I first met Riley, he wasn't into Fraser. I had been into Fraser for quite some time. Correct. Some people, I feel like when I say that, they're like, okay, because that's kind of like an old person show. Yes. But I love it. It's and amazing. It's, it's my... It might be like, it's a top three I'm show I'm telling you, if... Like, if you meet somebody who's in a Frasier, you're like, okay. Okay, like, I can vibe I, can I don't vibe. care what yeah. you say. And there's and maybe it's like people that like The Office. It's a certain type of humor. It is. You can say you like The Office, but you can tell if somebody really, really likes The it, Office. Yeah. And I feel like it's the same with Frasier. Seinfeld yeah. shows like that. You're like, okay. It's an intellectual humor because it's based off of... Not just like that fake studio laughter. Yeah, it's not you the have to read the faces. Humor. You have to know the background of the characters. You have to remember all the details, which is what makes each character unique. Yes. Like it sounds so stupid and so nerdy, but it's just like it's smart people humor. So if you well, don't like yeah. it, that I mean, yes, it is. Like yes, you have I can to agree. appreciate. I think yeah, the angles and the directing. Yeah, I don't want to be like we're smart people, so well, we, love we are. Frasier. So. <laughs> Yeah, but. if you don't like Frasier, it kind of says something about you. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> but but you, I, it is it is a very um, 
you, you have to be very observant to yeah. everything going on and in the scene. And appreciate people's hard work they put into these yes. shows like and, this. And the casting in yeah. the show was just absolutely no like perfect. There was no CGI back then. There was no fancy anything. It was just pure casting. It was, yeah, and, and, humor. and writing. Yeah. And it was just money. Yeah. And, and, and it's a spinoff, which is even crazier. Yeah, I, feel the, like. I think it's the longest running spinoff. Yeah, and I think yeah. he is the longest running like yeah. sitcom character. Kelsey Grammer, fucking the shit. So, yes. that was episode one. Kelsey Graham, if you're listening. Between the I true crime you. banter hosts. My, you, my name's Riley. You downtown. That's Christian <laughs> over there. And, <laughs> and um, but yeah, so we, we're going over across the water. We're riding this ferry. We're just trying to figure out things to, to kill time with because we do have, you know, it's like an hour and a half, two hours. we hate talking to each other. So we were like, what can we do to fill this silence? Mostly that. So I actually just put on <laughs> static, white noise. And then... I actually just jumped off the ferry. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to go over to him. And then uh, I saved you. No. Uh, uh, what, where was I? Oh, anyways, I typed in Frasier. The podcast. Yes. yes. I typed in Frasier on Spotify and... I was like, ooh, this looks good. And it's a, a podcast called We're Listening. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's amazing. Yes. Let's figure it out. Yeah. And it's it's entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. It's two guys that are friends that yeah. love the show, Frasier. So listen, you guys. So oh, the show came on, right? And I was like, this is so dumb in the best way. Mm-hmm. Like, this is, if, if Riley and I had a separate podcast just about Frasier, this is what it would sound like. They yep. break down... Every episode, basically, what we just did for the past past, like three minutes talking about Frasier, right? In insane detail. And listen, some of you people out there are probably like, "I want to jump off my roof." Like this sounds awful. Like I'd, you know, and we're like just eating it up. This is heaven. I'm listening to it, and even I know it's stupid. (laughs) It's so dumb, dumb, but I love it every second of it. It is because you are like you're. It's like you're hanging out with two more people obsessed that with shows like that you. you like yeah yeah and when you find that weird niche right where you're like there's no one else that gets it and you find someone you're like okay right, wait a minute i'm hanging on to this yep. <laughs> for sure and it's weird because i realize that there's multiple like fraser based podcasts yeah there's we clicked on another one that was called bit. i'm listening yeah you know aptly named. there's two girls there's another one that's two british dudes which is interesting to hear a uk version yeah because there is uk people involved in this seattle based show which is like where we live yeah so, so it's, like it's really weird in the pond yeah and it's really weird really quick it's really quick to hear i mean quick it's really weird <laughs> yeah. to hear the show talk about things that we know because we live here when they oh, say like yeah, we're yeah. gonna go to green lake or whatever like whoa weird like yep. we live there and this last episode we watched not to get too into a separate Frasier <laughs> podcast but they talked about a location rattlesnake ridge oh yeah yeah. which is not far from us and there's an episode where they want to go there and And they're like that's a five five hour hour drive drive." and we're like no it's not not. (laughs) i don't know who did your research (laughs) but yeah yeah. it is and that is uh, i would like to know if you guys have any tv or how they say things like certain like snow quail me instead of snow (laughs) call me or whatever yakima instead of yakima i I wonder you know, in other TV shows or sitcoms, whatever, in the past. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, New York-based ones, mm, which yeah. is, like, very easy to relate to because there's so many people. Even I know of these places in New York just because it's a popular city, I guess. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like Scranton and mm. they're in Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah. Like, there's different areas that get mentioned in tv shows that are based in a specific area but i don't know that so it doesn't mean anything to me yeah but i wonder if people who live but in like if they live there or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. yeah they're like oh my gosh i know there I know yeah, that. yeah 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 <laughs> uh, but anyway going back to fraser i posted something today that was <laughs> fraser themed and i you know i kind of used the did. whole like weird listening thing um with i wanted people to kind of give ideas of cases which we've had in the past but i kind of wanted to like I think that was months ago that I asked people to send in stuff, which I still have like a small list going for that. Yeah, and I've got a, a massive list of yeah. cases. And so I had um, Andrea Saravia. I Perfect. think I'm nailed saying it. it right. On behalf of Andrea Saravia. If you want to get you really white, it. Saravia, but Saravia sounds okay. a lot more accurate. But she sent me something. Um, so I appreciate that. I don't want to give it away because I might cover it. It is a very mysterious 
disappearance and that mm-hmm. I had never heard of. And so I was really excited about that. So I might do that. Um, and then my next one kind of plays into a recommendation. Do you want to say that for later? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yes. we're going to, uh, after we go over a couple cases, yeah. uh, we got some recommended watching for yeah. you guys at home. Okay, so really quick. I will cover something that um, one of our OG people. Is this Joey? No, hey, Joey. It's <laughs> Joey Toast again. We already again, talked about you. The star of the show. No, it's Brie. The okay. Brie or whatever, Brie. right? On Instagram. She's been on here forever now. Yeah. Um, so she sent me an article, she goes, she sent me a couple and I felt so bad because I, I had seen them, but I didn't respond to them. And then I saw this last one. I was like, how did I not text you back? Right. So she sent me this article that is, I mean, it was typed up July, 2022. Okay. So of this year, right. Obviously. A few months ago. Yeah. But I don't know how I didn't see this or hear more about it because it's from 2019, but the article was done more recent. So anyway. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie. This is going to sound super sketch, but... Avengers. No, the... Was it you that watched it or my brother maybe with me about the frogging? Where the guy was in oh, the no, house? Oh, no, you watched that by yourself. <laughs> I walked in on you watching it. I walked in on you, you watching it. And you, you, you like, explained it real quick. Why do I feel like people are with me? Maybe it's because I have, like, voices in my head or something where I'm like, I feel like I have people with me I when I watch this stuff. Right. But frogging ph frogging p-h-r-o-g-g-i-n-g right if you guys don't know what it is it's running across the street no it's when somebody's living in your home and you don't know about it so it's in like your attic fucking creepy yeah (laughs) and they have made their home in there and they're secretly going about your house whether you're sleeping whether you're at work you're taking your kids to school they are in your home lurking around doing shit if you come home and that pen is not where you left it or yeah so anytime you guys come home you're like that something feels off like you you there's someone in your attic go check your fucking attic or Or your basement ignore it and then just see what happens no because what happens you'll end up in a movie in this case no so thank you the brie shout out right okay so this article says this couple who was featured in a lifetime true crime show called frogging hider in my house were away from their home in honolulu by the way i'm reading from online with two young sons for about a week, but got more than they bargained for when they returned. On September 20th, 2019, the family found a man inside their home, and the situation got scarier by the second. Dad, who is James, 36, U.S. Navy, he grabbed a sledgehammer for protection, while Brittany, 37, his wife, called for help on 911. Frogging is a crime. Obviously, right? Rightfully so. Yes. When cops arrived, they arrested the intruder, 23-year-old Ezekiel Zayas, who was standing in the couple's front yard wearing the husband's clothing. Okay? Mm. James. After he was taken away, the family believed that that was going to be the end of it, but it became apparent that the nightmare had just began. Upon daring to venture further inside their home, the Campbells found sheer chaos, with Brittany describing the scene as, quote, just trashed. There was piles of pots and pans. James's music equipment was all over the living room, and their bedroom was a mess. Not only that, but their old laptop had been used to record disturbing diary entries about about the family. There were all these typed notes called the Omnivore Trials, a rehabilitation for rat-like what? people. <laughs> okay, Brittany told The Post that it was at this point they realized the intruder had been in their home for a lot longer than they thought. As events turned sinister, the stay-at-home mom noticed knives that had been laid out next to the computer, along with a typed-out manifesto containing Mm. gruesome plans for the Campbell, such as, quote, sexual reconstruction and, quote, hand transplants. She added, he wanted to play doctor on us and not in the cute little kid way. He wrote about how he can make us perfect people. Weird. This guy had been sitting naked in my chair. That's disgusting. She also says in the series after finding a video that he had made, I just felt in terror. So she said that, for example, they had noticed a computer webcam turning off and on in the middle of the night over recent months and doors being left open or unlocked. Hmm. Explaining frogging, Jessica says that the show's executive producer told the Post, it starts out slowly, things go missing. 
He said victims are more likely to believe that they are living with a ghost than a long-term trespasser. You think it's an urban myth, but it's more common than you think. So yeah, he was charged with burglary and then he was released. Shortly after, he was arrested again for allegedly vandalizing a Buddhist temple. And in 2020, he was, it was alleged that he was killed by a fellow inmate. So there's hmm. that. Interesting. Yep. Do they know how long he, had, did he ever admit how long? Like, You know what, though? I think, I don't think he admitted it since it's not in the article, but as the people living there, you could probably kind of mentally trace it back to when shit got weird, probably. Yeah, like they said, their webcams are getting like weird. Yeah. Where your, like, computer chair was a little stickier than you remember Ew, it being. Ew, <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It, which is weird because I am sitting naked right now in these chairs. Yeah. Which is why we're not doing Me a, and the a cats video are version of this. wondering when you're going to put your pants back on. Well... Well, anyway. Anyway, well, thank you, Bree, for bringing that <laughs> yeah, story thank to you. our knowledge. That is, where yeah. did that take place? Because they were, okay. Yeah. Weird. Hawaii, dude. They know. have some weird shit out there. Hawaii actually has so many yeah, unsolved murders and things kidnappings. And yeah, there's that's what happens when you're isolated. All right. Well, I got a couple cases okay. to talk about. First one, I mean, not, not really a super cover, but just discuss real quick. Okay. The Tylenol murders. Back in 1982. I don't know if anybody... Oh, yeah. The, True Crime Garage. Shout yeah, out we'll, to them. We might cover it. In essence, um, I there's won't. a reason why uh, pills are the way distributed the way they are today. Yes. And this there's is There's a lot the of things like that that you're like, oh, that's why they do that now. Yeah. Well, they are. there's people, police, that are reopening the case or, oh. or digging into it more now. They're trying to go after and convict certain people. Okay. So... That, okay, we'll see yeah. where that uh okay where that leads to. Yeah. So, uh, aside from that, aside from that, there is another case that I I feel like I've heard, I feel like I've listened, and or listen listen to podcasts uh, that cover this case. The name sounds familiar. Alan Miller it does not sound no. familiar to me at all, but okay. I'm all ears. Well, he is somebody who is on, currently still on, death row in Alabama. Okay. For a crime he committed back in 1999. Okay. Where he killed three co-workers, I think. And Was this a shooting? I think so. Okay. Was now, this like that's a... That's why I was saying it, it sounds, it's very um, okay. uh, reminiscent, because I know there's another case that there was like a fire that tried to like kind of cover a, sh- a murder oh, okay. in a store. So. Anyways, he's been on um, death row since 99. Okay. And his execution date was last night. Now. But? Leading up, beginning last week, all the way up into the to the midday yesterday, there was uh, a judge, or I guess like a, a ruling that had to be made to whether he could still be executed or not. Okay. The reason being, or at least... Did you see this Oklahoma? Alabama. Alabama, okay. The reason there was some question about whether he would be executed yesterday is because he requested to be killed by nitrogen hy- hypoxy, I think. Okay. Which means that it's a basically like a poisoning. You're poisoned with nitrogen and okay. it replaces the oxygen in your blood. Gotcha. And then you suffocate and die. Oh, wow. Okay. They say that he requested um, that to be the way he goes out. Okay. years ago okay well uh, he says that because there's no paperwork that he signed saying right this is how i want to die right so <laughs> okay the state is saying no we're gonna kill you with lethal injection okay and for the last week it's been up in the air whether the state will legally be able to do it because they they think there's been some miss uh uh, some kind a of, mishap with yeah. the paperwork so they're trying to get things straightened out well it this... wasn't until the middle of yesterday that a judge ruled yeah you can kill him with the lethal injection oh okay. so yeah it was a big deal they were like well so did they go forward with it or they does he have a new date or did he die last night he went into the lethal injection oh boy room whatever you want to call it and they couldn't find a vein Wait. for the lethal injection. And so 
they called it off at 11.30 p.m. last night <laughs> because they could not uh, professionally or correctly, properly kill him. Okay. Now, they will be re... Can you imagine going in to think that you're dying and then they're like, no. Yeah, we can't Psych. do this. Sorry. Yeah. Now, that was his thing, though. Do you think though. he dehydrated himself on purpose? No. Okay. No, the reason this uh, became a big deal was because, one, he said he was afraid of needles. <laughs> and that's why he wanted to die of the nitrogen poisoning. Is that like a gas mask thing where you put it over your mouth kind of thing? The nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I just figured that was also an injection. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just figured it, it was a different type of and injection. And then... Two though, within the last couple of weeks, they've like nurses in the hospital or prison have actually had trouble find locating um, veins when they're trying to do testing with them. I don't mm. know what for. So it, it he was he's a bigger dude, and so it's not really his fault necessarily, but interesting. He got caught off at like eleven thirty with half an hour to go. They were like, ah, that we're calling so- it. So. Whenever it comes down to such a tight frame like that, I'm always very and curious. And I didn't think, I've never thought what happens, like, like imagine, okay? Okay. They inject him. Okay. I don't know exactly, you know, the method of lethal injection. Yeah. I know there's like stages to it, I'm pretty yes, sure. Yes, there's like three different kinds of things that they inject you with and it's all in stages so that you technically don't feel anything. So imagine if like the first stage started at 11.30 last night, or they didn't call it off, 11.45, right? And they put the first stage in, and it's like a 10-minute stage. But if they can't find a vein, then they weren't no, no, able no, no, to no. even so start with one. Imagine they finally were able to find the vein. Because obviously they weren't just like, uh, we can't do this. Like I, I'm I thought that's sure why they, they couldn't, because well, they couldn't find okay. a vein. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> okay. So why are they waiting until like 11 o'clock to That's what I'm confused this? about. Anyways, imagine, it, yes. put yourself in this situation. <laughs> okay. It's 11.45, you get the first injection. It's 11.55, they're getting ready to do the second dose of it, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then the clock strikes midnight. You survive your execution day, so you just go free. <laughs> No, that's, <laughs> it's not like a purge rule. Well, I, okay. No, listen, hold on, hold on. I'm more curious about, do you get a last meal, right? Did uh-huh. he just get a free last meal and he's still alive? No, that's the last do one. Do you get that's, another now one? Now he actually dies from starvation. No, do you get another one? Because that technically you do didn't die. Still, I heard that some places, I think Texas, doesn't do free meals anymore. Really? Because there's one dude that ordered... A shit ton, like, you know. I want yeah, three steaks. That's this, been going that, on and forever. Then, that is not the first person. But he didn't touch it at all, so he didn't eat any of it. He, he just, just ordered a bunch a of stuff. Exactly. Okay, but that's not like most people would eat it. Oh, that yeah, was like no, a one off. Sure. So I don't know if Alabama does that whole. Last Listen, meal I'm not thing. saying people deserve it, but. I don't know. It no. just seems like in I uh, listen, true crime all the time, in true crime all the time unsolved. Shout out real quick. Same people? Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. They just do two <laughs> different cases. But anyway, um they have for years now have listed people's last meals and it's always so intriguing. That is okay. like a big thing that they're like, Okay you guys, last meal, here it is and they'll like go into detail about like what kind of ice cream and different steaks and maybe not quite detailed as like the seasoning on the steak but here's what i didn't asparagus, know though, you know or maybe i knew but forgot i didn't know mm. they got to choose how they they get to be executed I don't, um i think most people here to. like right so some states don't have the electric chair so it's not like you can be like i, I want think, the electric I, chair i don't think I any don't. states do anymore i, I think they but deem that like there are or something. some states that did it not that long ago but right. there are some states that uh, still did hangings not that long ago that you wouldn't fucking do they believe. Do, I think that some there are do people that do the squad fire still. squad. Like you would not believe the crazy shit that they do. Here's here's an interesting thing. That whole nitrogen hy- hypoxy, yeah, poxy, yeah. I, I I should probably have looked that up. Yeah, it's fine. But You're good. nitrogen poisoning <laughs> yeah. that was just approved in 2018 or uh, passed. In the state oh. of Alabama in 2018, What's the he would have been the first that? person in the nation to die that way. Would have they couldn't find a vein, but um, well, they or also say gas mask, whatever. But um, the interesting thing is that I guess the Alabama state 
uh, executioner office or whatever you want to call it, they this isn't the first time they've struggled to like follow through with executing somebody. I feel properly. like this is such a weird topic. I feel like you could go on forever about like pro human rights, right? Like let me do what I want with my body, especially as a female, especially these days as a female, right? I'm not trying to get too political, but so for like don't fucking tell me what to do don't tell me what to do when to do it how to do it it's my fucking body but i feel like when you commit murder especially you if it's proved those rights. especially if it's proven right there mm-hmm. are numerous people that are innocent and in jail that have some kind of doubt but if right, you're yeah. on fucking video shooting somebody or if there's witnesses or, or if you know you've what admitted I mean? to it and you don't yeah. have never denied it you know yeah. that you did it yeah like this then guy you definitely lose that right like sorry about it mm-hmm. you know kind of thing so it's kind of that weird like no you don't get to just do this crime and then choose how you want to go out yeah that's what i was no. saying it was like so you you got to choose how other people died and yeah. how you die like i mean it's kind of hmm. weird though because either way you're dying right so it's like mm, it's what's kinda, the matter in the end i'm kind of like yeah as long as you're dead but then also like Especially I think you if should you're let like the a family of the victims choose, Ooh. <laughs> or or even all better, right, the family right. of the victims this is get to do it. <laughs> Firing level. squad by all family right. of victim. We'll see how the editing goes on this. Oh forward, no, we're no. This is we're keeping it all this is, because my girl, this is a micro. My dose. girl, <laughs> a my micro girl. Right. dose. Listen, I have to make cookies, so let's okay. let's wrap. All right, this let's up wrap it up. Soon. So you got a recommendation for yes. some watching. I can't be the only person who knows that the new Dahmer series has come out on Netflix. I know it. It's been everywhere. Yeah. So Evan Peters, who is... The best friend to never back down. Pretty (laughs) cute. He's not a never back down. American Horror Story. Yeah, that Um, guy. You guys are probably would know him best from that. He's been in other stuff, but never back. American Horror Story. He's amazing. He's got so many awards. Like he's just a really good actor in general. Um, Dahmer has been done before. It's definitely Jeffrey Dahmer for those of you unaware. Yeah, if you didn't know who that was just by the name, then I don't know why you're here. But wrong. Anyway. The serial killers, the John Wayne Gacy files, you know, like there's so many things like, but Dahmer, I feel like everyone fucking knows who that is. Yeah. Same with Gacy. And Bundy. Bundy, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been done. Um, Night Zach Stalker. E- no, Zach Efron was Ted Bundy. Yeah, there was there like was three of There was another Dahmer one that all came out like yeah. all around the same and, time And, you know, period. Dennis Nielsen too. Sorry. I mean, there's a few that's a little lesser known, but which is weird because it's more fucked up than Bundy, Can but whatever. Ridgeway? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that too, right? Like, like Netflix is having a field day with all of these fucking documentaries yeah. coming out. And rightfully so. They know what we want and they're delivering, right? There's options though. Dahmer, like I said, has been done. I believe it was earlier this year or last year. There was another Dahmer, but it was a movie that came out. And not trying to take away from that, it was just done differently. I believe it was more of a movie format and it felt... As someone who knows the case so well, it is so frustrating and a little bit, a lot of it actually disappointing when yeah, they come really. out with something and it's rushed and you can tell it's rushed. Mm-hmm. You can't rush these things. These people did this shit. Most 99% of these people, the ones that are notorious have been doing this for years, which is why they are notorious yep. because there is years worth of gruesome details and facts and and trying just to fit getting those. away with it and just barely escaping cops and getting caught by their parents or their family or whatever it is yeah and trying to fit those into a 90 minute yeah. movie and just leading, doesn't work yeah and they're leading double lives and some of them have kids and and anyway that's what makes these people so fascinating and trying to fit years worth of details into an hour and a half movie it's just kind of sad and it and you know and i'm like oh fuck well at least but at least there's content yeah. like i'll watch anything that yeah. has to do with any of this but you kind of are left with oh well as someone who knows the case i know you just skipped over so much mm-hmm. stuff so this like new our, series uh, is hopes. so good the first episode on listen Netflix. guys i'm not even done with the second one yet and yeah, it's we're, so good we're, the tv is on right now yeah on episode two she's about halfway through it. yeah it is Dahmer on netflix yeah. and yeah I mean, you are. And listen, if you like Step Brothers, there's a little cameo. Just saying, a little crossover. (laughs) I don't think it's a. It's not a crossover. It is a. Listen, 
one character, one great character. And he does not play Mr. Novak in the show. (laughs) But he still plays a dad. He's he's a really good dad. Yeah. Well, good for him. If you guys know anything about Dahmer, you know his dad was like... The Catalina wanna, wine I want to say in <laughs> the fucking Catalina <laughs> is Dahmer's dad wasn't an advocate. That's not the right word, but he was pretty defensive of his son, um, probably even to a fault. But he never once mm-hmm. was like, "My son didn't do this," and probably because Dahmer even admitted, "Yeah, I fucking did this." Yeah, like, so, this is what but it is. you still want to show, I guess, support. I mean, it, yeah, maybe there's not some everyone sort of though. A, there's people that will write yeah. off their family, but there's a very complex relationship between Dahmer and his dad. And anyway, it's it's really well done. So and far, so good. They make it a series with episodes, which is a great. Which means it can be. I think it's what, eight take. hours yeah. long total. Yeah, probably right. Yeah, time, so if so. you love this kind of drawn out, detailed um interviews and uh, interrogations like it's really good but it's yeah. all acting there's no like at least so far there's no like real footage of anything right yeah, yeah. it might be later and but if you guys um like long drawn out episodes of things you mentioned earlier dennis nielsen oh yeah they can go back you cover that. I think that was almost a two-hour episode that oh we did. Oh, my God. I know. That was back when we and first that is started. Where, I would have probably. But that's what you, we were discussing, though, because you, to cover these notorious yeah. serial killers, yeah. you want to be able to not just, like, give honor to the victims, but there's so much that goes into why they yeah. are who they are and, and the things that they did that usually just get swept on the rug because it's not yeah. as fascinating for a movie. And there are more people that are listening to these cases that have heard it before than there are people who are just like, this is my first day on YouTube. Let me YouTube a serial killer. And they're like, oh, this is amazing. And they hear a wrapped up version and they're satisfied. Most yeah. people listen to it and they're like, oh, but you didn't do this or do yeah, that. Yeah, once you're ready to go down the rabbit hole of true crime, that's where you start getting to this point. There where you're are like, a few, I need 12 hours. There's a few people I want to cover that will be like two to three partners. Yeah. And I would rather do that and leave you guys hanging for a couple days while I wrap up another episode than try to sum up something that can't be summed up. Very so, true. Yeah. Very true. Anyway, that's my so recommendation. So there's your recommended watching yes. for this episode And of also, Microdose. recommendation, leave no trace, too. There you go. Yep. You that's a twofer. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Two one of those was one. for free. All right. I'm going to start charging next time, so soak no, it up. Not yet. We're almost there, though. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this yeah. my little microdose. Um, yeah. I'm sorry for not uploading the uh, last episode sooner Whatever. for our YouTube audience, but you know what? As Christian said, fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, I did not. No, anyways, I did this not. This has been the true crime man. Only podcast. the mean ones. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Yeah, catch them if you get a clip. Adios. Adios.